So these two pieces that we have here are uh, pieces that my husband sliced off of a tree that was one of the first trees that were knocked down when they cleared for our road. And the tree must have been really rotten on the inside. It was literally hollow. But I'm gonna try to make these into two nice picture frames to put in pictures of my daughter's wedding. One for us and one for them as their first anniversary present. sand this too much. I really like the look of the cuts from the saw blade in there. I think it gives it a nice rustic look. Collected the sawdust and I'm gonna try to make my own kind of wood putty. A little cup. Some wood glue. It's a nice little amount of wood glue. It does have a color to it. I'm just gonna stir that up. pretty much dried up and it really kind of is a little darker than I thought it would be so that might be a little bit of a problem when I go to uh, sand. Okay so it's the next day and you can see the glue definitely dried dark. I was kind of hoping it would lighten up overnight uh, but it didn't so I'm out here right now and I'm gonna give it a try sanding it down. Hopefully I can get that dark out of there. If it's still really dark like that, I might visit maybe some staining or something to, uh, to account for it. So let's see what happens. have this uh, clear gloss that I really like. I've been using it for a long time. I really only have a little bit left. But I'm going to give it a try and see how it does just on the top and probably the inside. I wonder if I want to stain this one and just give it a try. Yeah, I think I'll just that. This is supposed to be fast drying. It really, really, truly is. I'm gonna do a quick coat of varnish around the outside. At least have one coat on everything. This is gonna probably be a little more difficult because there's so many nooks and crannies. Just gonna cover up that pan down here. First coat of varnish is done on both of them. And even though there's a few darker spots, I don't think it's really terrible. Uh, I'll continue to add a few more coats of varnish just to get a good finish on it. But I really like that rusticy, not perfect look. Okay, so the um, varathane or the poly is now dry. And I'm just gonna take a really fine sandpaper and just give it a quick little sanding. look really good. What I want to do today really quick is just give a nice sanding on the back to give it one coat just to seal it and then when that dries, because it should dry, dry pretty quickly, I'll give the front a final finished coat. hit that like and subscribe button please if you're not already a follower we'd really appreciate it if you would thank you for all your support for everyone that is a follower already and for anyone watching this video
Okay, backs are dry. I'm gonna just do the final, final coat on front. Okay, so I got a package, uh, two packages. And these are the canvas prints that I ordered from Costco. And this is one. They're actually really nice. I almost hate to, uh, well, I almost hate to ruin them. They're so nice. So there's one. And that's the other one. So I'm going to, um, Get the frames really quick and see how those will look over those. So this is the picture I chose for ours. And I apologize that the light is reflecting in it. And then this is the picture I chose for my daughter and her husband. I'm going to um, attempt to turn it over, hold it exactly where we want it, and then staple it. But first I'm going to take off the plastic. So let's do some stapling quick and just try, right? One done, almost. It looks beautiful, actually. I think they're fine. For my first try, I think they're pretty darn good. Mm -hmm.